Hey guys, welcome back. This is Shaf, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Hoyle Waterproof Clear Playing Cards. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, you've probably already seen, or maybe not, that uh, I'm starting to expand into reviewing these uh, playing cards as well. And I just feel like anybody who likes sports cards, you're limiting yourself or lying to yourself if when you walk by a deck in a game shop, you aren't intrigued and want to uh, buy it because we're addicted to having these cards in our hands. So today I'm going to be doing the Hoyle Waterproof Clear Playing Card. Pl wow. Pl cl wow. Today I'm going to be doing the Hoyle Waterproof Clear Playing Cards. And... I'm going to be doing it on this scale. I'm going to review the box, the artwork, the originality, the quality, and the price. And all those are going to add to a score out of 100. And you can kind of see I've weighted things differently. Artwork, by far the most important. Boxing, least important. And then the quality is the second most important. But you can, you can see that there. So real quick, I'm going to start just by opening it and flipping through them so that we can get... A good view of what we're working with here. Here's what we have. You can see they are in fact clear. That's the back of them. And here is the front. I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see that. There's a joker. So yeah, that's what we're working with here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to review is the box. And, you know... Most of the time they come in a little cardboard box, but if this one, you know, plastic, the whole claim to fame is like you take a camping or whatever where there's water, it won't get wet and ruin them. So in this case, the plastic boxing makes perfect sense. Um, I've got OCD, so them putting a the sticker on diagonally on there, if you can tell, <laughs> uh, drives me a little crazy, but I'm not going to fault them for like a one product out of the whole bunch thing but um and then if you can tell it's got like a little smaller thing that the cards fit in perfectly so that they're not shuffling around in there so the box we'll give that a 10. it accomplishes its intended fu function for this one i mean it's it's not pretty but it goes with the whole clear theme as well so i'm going to give that a 10. um the artwork I mean, I was trying not to comment when I was flipping through earlier, but I, honestly, I love the way these cards look. And they feel real good, too. Like, they just... It's a thin plastic, but it's just thick enough to be kind of sturdy. I love the way these cards look. On the back, especially. And then the front is just kind of classic as well. Like, my main goal for a deck of cards is to be eye-popping enough that I want to pick it up, and then normal and natural enough that if I'm playing an actual game with them, it's not deterring or taking away from that. My only complaint, and honestly this is a pretty big one, I hate it when the back of cards aren't symmetrical when you flip them. So if I shuffled these the wrong way, sure, it wouldn't like let me know what card is there, but I just don't like when you can tell that a card is flipped from the back. I wish it was top and bottom symmetrical in addition to like the horizontal symmetry that's got going on. But that's the only like qualm I have with it. It is a pretty big one for me, but these are beautiful cards. I'm going to give this like a 27 out of 35. The originality... Um, I 
think it's it's pretty original. Plastic playing cards. Maybe there's more out there, but I feel like they nailed this in terms of originality. Uh, I mean, I bought it because it was different than a lot of the other paper cards out there. So I'm going to give them the full score, 15 out of 15 for originality. Quality, this is where I'm going to start to do some shuffle tests. Like, it is a nicely thick plastic. If I do that, I won't, like, go all the way to crease it. You absolutely could, just like a normal card, if you push real hard, you could permanently crease it. But, yeah, I'll do a shuffle test real quick. They shuffle very easily. Extremely easily. Yeah. The quality, there is, there is nothing wrong with these. And I didn't bring like a cup of water to test a waterproof, but they're plastic. Come on, we know they're waterproof. So quality, I think I'm gonna give it full marks as well. 25 out of 25. And then the price, let me see if the price is still on there. I think I took it off. The price on these were $7.99. Uh, there's no sticker on there anymore. But $7.99 compared to I think a normal deck of cards is anywhere in the five to six range. So, whoops, there's like a $1 markup on these. Um, still, like I always say, if we are into sports cards, you're happy to pay $7.99 for a deck of cards. Um, so I think these were like $1 more than normal. So I'll take away like two points out of 15 and give it 13 out of 15. Uh, actually, I think I'll do one more, 12 out of 15. If a deck of cards was like $5 and perfect, I would give it perfect uh, score out of 15. But at uh, what am I, $7.99, yeah, that's a 12. So real quick, we'll do some math. We got 10, 37, 52, 57, 77, and then... 89. Does that seem about right? Yeah, the only two places I took away points are these two. So 89 out of 100. And that seems about right. Um, my criteria is that I want to be able to, I want to be intrigued enough to pick it up. And if I'm playing with it, I want it to play like normal. And I think these accomplished that pretty well, and the score reflects that. So 89 out of 100 for the Hoyle Waterproof Clear Playing Cards. Obviously, they're trying to make a claim to fame that you can use them anywhere, like camping or anything, and they won't go bad. And I appreciate that. That separates them from the pack. I like these cards. 89 out of 100. I think you should go get yourself a deck of them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.